Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're back at a touch of Disney. This time we're gonna be trying all the foods we didn't eat. And I know we covered a lot of stuff in our last video. If you guys haven't checked that out, please click the link below. It's a more detailed video of exactly how the event's going, what you need to do, how to be prepared for it. This vlog is more of a, like, we're just gonna enjoy the foods we didn't get to try and see what's going on for today. Yeah, as I've been seeing on Instagram that there's new things happening. So we're excited to show you guys. Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed our last Touch of Disney vlog. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you guys already are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. our first meal of the day we are trying delicious waltz chili and we didn't get this last time which i don't know why we didn't because it seems like a fan favorite it's hearty beef chili topped with cheese sour cream green onions i'm a chili fan so i hope this is bomb so let's try let's mix it up real quick oh yeah mm. that's a great freaking chili it has this good spice, good meat flavor. The cheese and sour cream adds that topping touch. Highly recommend. Here we got a farm stand punch. It's orange juice, peach, and fresh lime. It's non-alcoholic. Ah, uh, that's refreshing on a hot day. Very bomb. We're back at Golden Dreams as well, and you cannot forget about the wings here. They're so bomb with this, how do you say it? Togoroshi sauce. Bomb. All right, you guys, so we got the Mickey waffle again because it's so good that we couldn't pass it up. I got the macerated berries, the waffle, and then also some whipped cream, some syrup. So good. Mm. Mm. Not too sweet. It's tart. It's good. Waffle is crunchy and soft. Good combination. You guys can't miss this. And there's no better way to have brunch with our good old friend, Daisy. We're here at Sonoma Terrace and we're trying something new. We're trying the mini meatballs and this has Italian meatballs with marinara sauce with melted mozzarella and a crispy baguette. So we're really excited. It's so cute. Here we go. Ooh. The meatball is filled with flavor. It's really good and the marinara sauce adds a really good taste to it. The only thing is is that it's not a crispy baguette as I wish it was. I wish there was like a little bit of texture, but other than that, the taste is there. It's hot, fresh. I highly recommend this one. I give this a four out of five. Let me try some of this meatball. <laughs> mm. It's okay. The Subway meatball marinara is better. <laughs> kind of dry. The bread is lacking. The flavor on the meat is pretty good though. What do you Three out of five. I like it. I think it's okay. Eat the whole thing. <laughs> it's pretty busy today. Last time we went, it was so smooth compared to today. I'm not saying that like it's hard or we've been waiting hella long or anything. It's just been a little bit more crazier i guess doing some mobile orders because that's kind of like what we've been doing today um we haven't stood in any lines and we didn't have time to wait for the cashiers but we already had most of the food so we're kind of just picking at different areas of stuff we haven't tried right now i am ordering the mickey ear hat bowl and it's the carrot cake funnel fries so that sounds pretty good now let's go ahead and check it out Drizzled with some icing, whipped cream, and some carrot cake crumbles on top. So let's go ahead and give this a try. We kind of waited to eat this because we were trying to find a spot to sit at for the longest time. So let's see if it's still fresh. Mm. I taste a little bit of the carrot cake, but not so much of it. I just mostly taste like funnel cake fries. I don't know if it's because we waited 
to eat it, but the fries are a little stale. The corners of the funnel cake pie, it's, it's crunchy, but then when you get to the middle of it, it's a little bit stale, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna give this like a 2.8. We got the Ghirardelli Golden Rush Caramel Sundae. Uh, it has vanilla, ice cream, sea salt, diced almonds, caramel sauce, whipped cream, and topped with a white chocolate Ghirardelli square. So let's try it. Very good vanilla ice cream. And we've been eating Yasso yogurt ice cream. So it kind of tastes like really rich and good to have regular ice cream for once. Really bomb, the caramel is really good. The texture of the walnuts is fire, and let's try some white chocolate. Ooh, white chocolate with caramel. Overall, really good dish. Four out of five. So we just got back from Kakarito Mu and we got the chicken gumbo and this has party stew with chicken, tasso ham, and dewy sausage and vegetables. So it also has some rice, so that's pretty good. You know us Filipinos love rice. <laughs> oh, it's very peppery. <laughs> okay, it's rice, so it's rice. <laughs> yeah. It's like a thick chicken noodle soup. No, uh -huh. it's not. Huh? It's chicken gumbo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. It's very hearty. Sausage is really good. It's very flavorful. The rice goes perfectly with this dish. It kind of reminds me of like a rice porridge. It's really good. I rate this a four out of five. It's really good. I never really eat gumbo, so I don't know what it's supposed to taste like, but this is really good. A lot of meat, nice hearty rice. The stew is really good, a lot of spice. I like this, four out of five. So we're here at Smoke Jumper's Grill. I know that we got it last time, but we got the Monte Cristo. It's so good that we had to get it again, okay? Here it is, you guys already know what's in it. And you guys need this blueberry puree, it's so good. Mm. I think this is the best thing here. It's sweet, salty, crunchy, hot, full of flavor, not too sweet from the blueberry. It's just a great balance of everything that you want. Love it. We're here on the pier. We got Poultry Palace. The curry coaster ride is in the background, so if you hear a roller coaster come through, they are playing it. No ride, obviously, but they're just letting the roller coasters go. We got this fun chicken box. It comes with coleslaw and three pieces of fried chicken. It doesn't look fried though. Oh man, <laughs> it's so big. Wow, super moist. Look at that moisture. I don't know what that flavoring is. It's spicy. I'm not like a huge fan of the flavoring though, it's weird. It's not a traditional like fried chicken with thick batter. It's not crispy. It seems like baked chicken to me. I rate this a 2.8 out of five. The seasoning is a little spicy. It's throwing me off. For me personally, I actually like it. It's hot, moist. It's not crispy like a normal fried chicken, but other than that, I like the seasoning. It has like a Cajun kick, so it's a little bit spicy. It's very well seasoned. For me personally, my favorite dip with it is the sweet and sour sauce. I like it. I give it like a 3.8 out of 5. So we just got back from Adorable Snowman's, what is it, Frosted Treats? And we got the half pineapple, half lemon soft serve. Mm. It tastes like a popsicle. It's just a combination pure perfection. It's really good, very refreshing, good tartness, not too sweet. I highly recommend this. I give this a 4.5 out of 5. And it's dripping. Dude, I swear I was like hitting the center and I was winning. And all of a sudden, my thing just stopped. And I look and you're, you're one. <laughs> you looked and it's me. <laughs> we just wanted to play this game because we already played the, the Humlix candy corn toss and also the bullseye one. So we played all of them? Yeah, so we just wanted to play the Wally because we haven't yet. And we got a prize. So we just got done taking some professional photos at the To The Infinity and Beyond background. I felt like last time we didn't really take as much opportunities with the photos because we were more focused on trying to get as much information and like trying to eat that we didn't really get to have the time to take pictures. So now we're gonna take as much pictures as you can. Just got done taking pictures at the 20 year anniversary photo op and what comes with it is a magnet and also a Touch of Disney little um, pin. They actually did this last time we were here, but we didn't really come around to this area, so we finally got it. Okay, we're meeting the queen. Little Miss Meeting Mouse. 
<laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I mean, Matt is no Captain America, but... I mean... <laughs> you know, there's this thing going on around TikTok where, like, someone said, if your wife had the opportunity to leave you for Chris Evans, she would. And I think I would. I mean, I wouldn't be mad either. <laughs> I would, too. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Easter weekend. It's about 6.25. We just left Touch of Disney to go into downtown Disney. But little did we know, is at full capacity and the line to get in is 45 minutes. We're honestly just doing it for the banana foster beignets. Is it worth it? Who knows? We'll find out. Click the like button to see more. No. Oh my gosh, I think Matt is having baby fever. Babe, I think we're in the kids section. Oh, is this a sign? Does I'm, he want a kid? I'm just looking at the designs. <laughs> we're here at our last stop of the day here at Downtown Disney at the Jazz Kitchen Express. We got the banana foster beignet. So me and Val love the beignets at the Jazz Kitchen Express. Way better than the ones in Disneyland. Ooh, nice and hot and pillowy. Mmm. Mmm. You could not go wrong with the Jazz Kitchen Express beignets. They're so good. Like, every time it, like, surprises me. Mmm. The cream. So good. This is really, really good. Five out of five. All right guys, so that concludes our video for today. I'm sorry that we couldn't really show like a lot of new things. It's because not really much has changed besides like the roller coasters, some new photo opportunities and some of the treats. Everything was pretty much the same. The only thing is that we really did today was try foods that we couldn't last time. With the two videos combined, I think we tried everything besides um, Lamplight Lounge, which yeah. we couldn't get a reservation for. And maybe a few small things, but we literally tried every like marketplace thing. Yeah, and I think the only thing that we really didn't go into detail with was the alcohol yeah because we were not trying to drink that we much. don't drink like yeah that. alcohol gives us like a really bad float so we just just <laughs> try to avoid it i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video this is going to be our last video here at a touch of disney so we're really excited for anyone who is going to be participating within the next couple weeks the event ends on april 19th which is sad but that means that disneyland and disney california adventures is going to be opening. which we need tickets for yeah to those who went up to us and asked if we have like a youtube channel and asked for a youtube channel channel we want to give you guys a shout out huge thank you for feeling comfortable to come up to us you have no idea how much that makes us happy <laughs> yeah. so hi to you guys i wish i got your names but you guys know who you are and we really appreciate you guys for supporting us thank you guys so much for watching this video we will see you guys in our next video peace Bye.